is up, YouTube. It is your boy, the franchise guy, and we are coming at you again with a brand new episode of our MLB The Show 20 set of Phillies franchise. Now, we are taking on the New York Yankees in this episode. You know, a team that we haven't really played that often. We play a bunch of National League teams. Not really any AL East teams. Uh, but Spencer Howard getting the start here in 2023. He has 30 starts and he is 9 5, 4 4 year, 182 innings pitched, 165 uh, hits allowed, 123 whips, 60 walks to 231 punch outs. So, dude has a cannon. You know, fanning dudes left, right, and center. Uh, but a base uh, hit right here, a double actually, to lead on this game. Not the start Spencer Howard wanted. I'm going to tell you that now. I guarantee that's not how he started off with an Aaron Hicks double. Now Glaber Torres, and Glaber Torres goes down with the looking strikeout for Howard's first strikeout of the game. And now Miguel Andujar, and there you go. So, double, two punch out, get Howard out of the inning. And no run scored. Domingo German, I'm pretty sure he retired in real life because he was facing suspension. But I guess he's still playing in this league. Now on 29 starts, he's 7 and 8 at 377 year rate, 170 hits pitch, 148 hits allowed, a 119 whip, 40 walks to 169 punch out. So Howard definitely has it on the strikeout side. You know, walks pretty similar, but a strikeout to JT Rio. No, I'm sorry, Austin Meadows. Austin Meadows. I thought that was 10 for some reason. Now Bryce Harper up, and Harper draws a walk. Uh, he's he's running. He's running to the bag after the walk right there on the drop, uh, drop fourth ball. All right, so a strike on the walk is sitting for German. And he's, he's cruising right now, at least. He's not on any hits. But now we have Spencer Howard trying to have a rebound inning. There you go, starting off with a strikeout. That's what you like to see from Howard. You know, he's a big strikeout guy. And now got John Carlos set up, spent some time in the National League East for a bunch of years, and there he goes, struggling out to end the inning. So Howard, one, two, three inning. Now Alec Boehm up for the Phillies, and Boehm called strike, throwing that high fastball on the outside corner. I mean, definitely not what he wanted, but guess what? That's what he got. Adam Hazley, swing and a miss right there. It's going to be a strikeout here in the bottom of the second inning. And now Scott Kingery and Kingery puts that one on the line. That will drop in front of the right fielder right there. You like to see that. So no one, two, three, and four, German. As Kingery notches the Phillies' first hit of the game. And you see the Phillies are second in uh, the National League in batting average. Now Bryson Stott and Stott goes down swinging. So three punch outs in the inning for Domingo German. And now here we have Albert Almora Jr. and Almora Jr. Sends down off the heel of the glove of Alec Bohm. And he's going to get himself a lead-off base hit. Now with one out in the inning, guess what? Big punch out right here for Howard. So he's he's rallying back. He's at five strikeouts now through two and two-thirds. And a 3-1 count will lead to a single. So two men on now. One in scoring position with two outs in the inning. So we just need Howard to rally back. Libra Torres and will go down swinging on that low slider. So Spencer Howard works to have a jam. Spencer Howard now leading off the inning and he's gonna go down swinging via the curveball. You hate to see that. Austin Meadows looking for another at bat here as he goes down swinging as well. Back to back punch that's now for German, his sixth of the game. Now 3-1 count to JT and JT's gonna draw a ball for a second walk issued this game by Domingo German as Yo, know, Phillies have a base runner at least two outs, though. Bryce Harper, he's known for some clutch hits, but a strike on that inside curveball is not a clutch hit. As Jermon strikes out the side. Miguel Andujar up now. He'll take that 3-1 pitch past the glove of Alec Bohm. And he's going to have himself a leadoff double here in the top of the fourth inning. Throw not in time, not even close to being in time, honestly. It's going to be the 27th double of the season for Andujar. Now, Sean Castellia, the catcher right here, number whoever this is, this guy goes down swinging. Seventh punch of the game of four Howard. And now Stan draws a walk. So, two men on now, two out. So, Howard's found himself in this position before. Now, he just needs to bear down and get Albert Almora Jr. out. And Jr. goes down swinging that very low fastball. So, Howard 
comes up clutch when he's needed to. That's what you want to have a star pitcher to. You know, just have that clutch gene. Uh, but Yankees do get some hits this inning and a walk. Bottom of the fourth now, 3-2 count to Bowman. Bowman draws a walk. Third walk issue of the game for Domingo Germán. I mean, there is one out in the inning, but Bohm, you know, he, he can get around the bases pretty easily. Adam Hazley up now, and Hazley almost takes the head off Domingo Germán there as he lines one up the middle for a one-out single as Bohm moves into scoring position. Scott Kingery up now, and Kingery sends that one to deep center field. Bohm tagging up, and no, that one's going to go off the top of the wall right there. And uh, we're going to get... You're going to have some base running blunders right here as Scott Kingery ends up at second base for the out. So just bad base running there. Has another lead off base hit for the Yankees. Yeah, I think Yankees, they're a contact team right now it looks like. You know, they get Stan, they lost Judge, they lost Gary Sanchez, but they're hitting for a ton of contact right now. And now you got Aaron Hicks, and Hicks goes down swinging. So after a Domingo German single, Aaron Hicks goes down for Howard's ninth strikeout of the game. JT up now with two outs in the bottom of the fifth inning. Ground ball up the middle. I mean, calling the line actually. So one, two, three for Jermont. Top of the sixth. There you go. Big punch out here for Spencer Howard, his tenth of the game. As you see, Phillies are the second lowest ERA in the National League at 3.56 as a team. 3 2 count to Andrew Har now and Spencer Howard. We'll send that, allow that one to get deep into right field. That's going to get past the glove of Bryce Harper. And that's going to be a one-out double here in the top of the sixth inning. Now, after that double, that's going to be a called strike three. You'll love to see that. He thought, you know, he thought he he thought he got a walk, but no. And following one strikeout, he hit, hit another strikeout. So, back-to-back -back punch outs end the inning after the one-out base hit. Bryce Harper up now, 3-2 count. He already has one walk, and he will have himself a second walk this game. As Domingo German just sends to lose him on that very outside pitch. I mean, he's at 78 pitches now through sixth inning. Uh, and that's enough for the Yankees head coach. You know, he is not, uh, he's seen enough out of his starter. You know, German probably, you know, if he didn't allow three walks this game, probably would still be in the game right now. But, you know, a bunch of strikeouts, just not having the control right there. As former Philly Mark Leiter Jr. comes in in 54 uh, four games. He's 10-5, 9 holds, 111 innings pitched, a 3 ERA, 170 strikeouts, 33 walks. Lefties and righties bat batting under 250 against him. So, uh, he's getting a ton of work this season. You're definitely here to mop up you know, a few innings right now to get them into the later half of this game. Now, Pike gets a strikeout. And another strikeout. All right, Mark, why didn't you do this when you're here in Philadelphia? Now, with two outs inning, Adam Hazley up and Hazley. Got to tee that one off the end of the bat right there for a two-out single. So, starts you off with two strikeouts, then allows a single. And that's going to be it. As Edgar Santana comes in for the Phillies now. So, Howard's day is done. He cannot get the loss now. And there you go, one-two count. That's going to be a big strike count for Santana. As Stan clearly frustrated with his performance today. Now Jorge Soler pinch hitting for the Phillies. That makes Edgar Santana's day is done. As you know, we are moving on to the bottom of the seventh inning here. There's one out already in the inning. As Soler swings and misses on the slider. You a big fist pump right there from Taylor Widener. You know, he came in. Apparently missed that one, unfortunately. Unless the Meadows also strikes out swinging. So Widener comes in and has himself a 1-2-3 inning against the Phillies. Not even just any Phillies, like, you know, some pretty decent Phillies there between Soler and Meadows. Now, Kyle Dowie, the hard-throwing left-hander, you know, he's 26 years of age, making his Major League debut, and he's like Aaron Hicks to strikeout swinging right there. It's going to be the first strikeout of his Major League career. So congratulations, Kyle Dowie, the 26-year-old Southpaw. You know, clearly Gio Urshela not super happy. Now Gleyber Torres up and Torres connects with that one. That one will clear the wall. The first run of the game goes to New York. It's going to be Gleyber Torres' 25th on the year. So Doey 
now can be credited with the loss unless Philadelphia can rally back. You know, we're in the seventh inning, eighth inning right now, so we have eighth and ninth inning. And hopefully, you know, if we can tie it up, maybe get the extras. Uh, but with two outs in the end, it's going to be a walk. So Dobie losing some control right here after that home run. But we do have the inning. Corey Knable in now for New York and 33 games. He's 0-4, 25 holds, 26 innings pitched, a 5.40 ERA. At one point, we won the trade for Knable just to be a solid, you know, pitcher of our bullpen. And there you go. There's a reason he has a 5.40 ERA as JT Rio Muto sends that one deep into left field. A no doubt shot his 27th on the season. 444 feet, 113.9 off the bat. You love to see that right there. You know, JT bailing out the young lefty Kyle Dowie with that big time home run right there. And if there's ever a time where you thought, wow, only if there's someone in this Phillies lineup that can go deep. You just clearly haven't watched this series enough because everyone in this Phillies lineup has the ability to go deep. You know, JT batting in the two hole right now. You know, just proving you that no matter where you bat someone, this lineup is very dangerous. One through eight. One of the most dangerous lineups in baseball. Uh, but Knebel gonna get the better of Bryce Harper right now as he strikes out. Look on that inside fastball. And we have Reese Hoskins and Hoskins swinging the miss on that inside high fastball. I mean, Canable still has the velocity. That was 95 plus. Uh, but Alec Bohm, you know, just late, a little late on that one, but still a base knock for the third baseman here in Philadelphia. Adam Hazley, and Hazley goes down swinging 96 on that fastball. See that? He's hitting the ticker. Now, Kyle Dowie out for his second inning of work. We're not trying to burn any bullpen arms, but Dowie, energetic himself, gets a strikeout there. That's going to end end of that inning. As we are now into the bottom of the ninth inning here, Yankees skipper going to bring in Zach Britton. Britton, veteran lefty in 44 games. He's 2-3, and three, 8 holds, 40 innings pitched, a 450 ERA. 35 strikeouts, 22 walks. Uh, righty's batting, you know, worse than lefties, actually. Now that's going to be a walk to Scott Kingery. So Brand, first batter he sees, is a walk. Not what you want, and uh, it's going to bring up some pretty savory people to try and knock Kingery, who does have 80-plus speed. You know, Bryson Stott very late on that sinker. It's things right past by the time he swung at it. But Brand's first punch out of the game. Pinch hitting now for Kyle Dowie. His day is officially done. This is going to be Phil Gosselin. Goose is loose. Uh, but not this time. It's not going to be the outcome you want for Phil Gosselin. And there you go. That's going to be Austin Meadows also striking out. Seth Lugo in now for Philadelphia. The former Mets closer in 57 games is 8 0. 61 innings pitched, 266 ERA, 61 punch outs, 26 walks. Pretty good so far. That here on top of the 10th inning. It's going to be a 3 2 count to Jason Dominguez and Dominguez. Goes down swinging hard. Super hard swinging right there. Now, Aaron Hicks. 2-2 two -two count. That's going to be a big strikeout too. So back-to-back -back punch outs now for Lugo. As Lugo is dominated. Now, JT up here in the 10th. That's going to be a ground ball through the hole. There you go. Runner on first base. Now, 74 speed. He can fly if you get one in the gap. Would not be afraid of sending him home. Now Bryce Harper up and Harper sends that one deep to center field. That one's going way back, way back, way back, and that one will be gone. A walk-off home run for Bryce Harper. His 39th on the season, 418 feet. Touch them all, Bryce Harper. You know, Bryce Harper known to have some flair for the dramatics here in Philadelphia. One time hit a walk-off grand slam against the Cubs and was able to get to home plate before the pitcher on the mound could cross the third baseline. But everyone going home happy here in Philadelphia as Bryce Harper plays the hero. Let's get the replay right here on the Harper home run. And there we go. We have number 30 on the mound for the Yankees. And he, he kind of had those that turn where he didn't know if it was gone or not. I don't think JT or Bryce knew if that ball was gone. But there's the replay there. 
And you can see that ball is just going to end up about midway through the Phillies bullpen. But Philadelphia plays the victors this game. Bryce Harper not named player of the game for some reason. It's going to go to JT Riamuto. I do understand JT had the game tying home run, but Harper had the game winning home run. Definitely feels if it should have gone to Harper, uh, but two for four, a home run, an RBI. Seals it as Lugo gets the win, and Freddie Haska gets the loss. Both text on YouTube, though. Peace out. Rock on. Super classy. Have a great day. Make sure you guys wash your hands. And Philadelphia Phillies are the biggest budget franchise in MLB history. Just